So here's how I make labels to go on the backs of all my quilts. I sew this, uh, hand sew it to the bottom right back of all of my quilts, and I might write the date that I um, created it, and if it's a name, give it a name, and also my initials. So I use Spoonflower Yardage. I've got my logo uh, repeating um, on Spoonflower Yardage, and I'll cut a rectangle of it um, each time I use a label. It's about four by two and three eighths, something like that, but it's a rectangle, and it, I've given an even amount of empty space on all four sides of my logo to allow for stitching. I also cut a piece of white fabric the same size. And then I put these right sides together. And at the sewing machine, I stitch um, a quarter inch away from the edge, going around all four sides. But I leave a pretty generous opening, uh, maybe an inch or two, at uh, the fourth side. And back stitch at um, the beginning and end. So here's what it looks like. I back stitch, there's my opening. I also trim away all of the excess at the corners. And then I turn it out, right side out. And to get those corners nicely turned out, I use a little tool called a point turner. Be careful with this, just gently ease out the corners and get them nice and pointy, but slowly using this point turner, you kind of have to um, gently work the corners out. So I do this for all four corners and then I press the entire label flat. And this is what you have. It's a nice opaque label because of the white background. I also press in a quarter of an inch on either uh, side of the opening. Then I will pin this to the back of my quilt and I will hand stitch it all the way around on all four sides. And that's what it looks like. Thanks for watching.